Kia ora, ko thang kupi tako ingo, see what I did there? I'm the president and presenter of Aotearoa Social Club. This whole game of television is built on trust. The trust of the crew, the accountants, the audience and our funders to Mangai Pāho. Hence my Māori translator, welcome. Whakapono, ka ari ei te mōhio ki tēnei mea ki te whakapono. O tahi ana ki te mea o tōna ao, ko i anō. Maui pulled up the North Island one day fishing. I do the same thing on a day-to-day -day basis, pulling up the ratings and turning them into gold for te mangai pāho. E ki rā, mai tahi rua rua kupu ka Māori ake koe, engari mō tēnā. When you go out to lunch with me, you trust that I'll pick up the bill if it's directly attached to the business of television. No tali korero, no free kai. That's a great incentive and perfect for the language. Ko te kai a te rangatira he korero. Engari ko te kai a te tau reka reka, he tūtai. I'm thank Kirby. Google me. Enjoy the show. Ko ma tāia kē pa tōku ingoa. Tī hau mai. This is Aotearoa Social Club. I am Thane Kirby. Welcome to the home of loose chat, high-strung comment and very lazy analysis. The club is getting well attended with every show. Join us on Facebook and Twitter to get you involved right here. Show number four features our special guests Tom and Hans from Homebrew and of course our never punctual, that's actually ever punctual panellists. Sorry about that guys. Please welcome Tammy David. My brother. How are you? Good? Good thanks, good thanks. A good week? What's been up? Yeah, well another, yeah, well, another interesting week. I mean, you know, just doing um, yeah, lots and lots of Real cool stuff. Where did you park yeah. your yacht? You look very nautical today. What's that? Nothing. Uh, please welcome <laughs> our reader, everybody. Our reader. And uh, how was that Native Soul Lounge you did a couple Went of weeks off, ago? Went off, man. Wicked event. So thanks to everybody who came out and supported. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's been an awesome week. Very Good to see good. everyone here again. Yeah. And how about you, Kaylee? Had a great week? Yeah, I have, actually. Yeah. It's been really fruitful. Highlight? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let mm. me see. Getting back into the studio. Yes, yeah. that's good. That was definitely a highlight. Very good. Because I want to hear yeah. some new stuff. If you get a remix, you can have it on my radio station. You know that. True. Yeah. yeah after, you know. Do that. All right. Do that. Okay, let's get into our topics, ladies and gentlemen. First one, uh, snail-paced internet is one of our New Zealand's uh, 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 first world problems. Apparently, a new survey has found that uh, out of 80% of 1,000 respondents, they complain about slow internet, uh, they complain about not being able to find stuff in the supermarket and bad tasting fruit. Does the panel have any first world problems like to share with New Zealand? How about you, Tammy? I've, um, I've never been first at anything, so it's, <laughs> kind of, it's kind of good to be like, kind of, like be first at something. Yeah, totally. Because usually, like, you know, I remember when I used to run 100 metres or things like that, mm. I always oh, come my, second or third. Your missus said you finished first all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 she finishes first. Every time, <laughs> every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaylee, Kaylee, what about you? Um, updating the iPhone right. with the iOS Yeah, apps. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is, yeah, I'm having a real bad problem with this. Can't get Twitter, can't get Facebook, and the battery runs dead. I hate that, especially when you're in an intense conversation and yes. then it's all over, you know, you just got to leave it. Yeah. Ugh, grills me. And what about you, Wawa? Something that's been annoying me lately, Grayland Food Town, love that place. Mm. Big shout out to all the crew there. People who wait in the express lane when they have more than 12 items. Like, yep. are you serious? <laughs> like, it pisses me off, bro. Yeah. Like, they know how much they've got because they've put it in there. Like, yeah. unless they can't count. But I do that all the time. Like, what if you've Why? got 13? Go to the other one. It's, it's saves not 12, 12, is it? It's not 12. Exactly. 12 or less. On, but mate. it's only one more That's than all it takes, 12. Tammy. Like, Mine is, you know, when you go to the gas station and you're like trying to fill it up or something, and just that last $3 just takes forever when you're waiting to get to that amount and going, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. That's slow or, down or trying to pick a DVD and then needing to go to the toilet and you're going, oh, do they have toilets here? This is awkward. Like, Come on, what do I want? I just pick anything <laughs> and then always get in trouble at home. Anyways, moving on to topic number two, <laughs> celebrity throw up. You see Justin Bieber, he threw up on stage, then Lady Gaga followed suit. Uh, is this a trend? What's going on here? Have you guys had... In terms of musos? Yeah. No, I've never heard of this before. When I heard Lady Gaga spewed, I just thought hapu. And yeah. hapu means pregnant for those of you out there who don't speak Māori. When you guys were once famous, you know, <laughs> doing your sing-songwriter thing, um, did you ever spew <laughs> up on stage? Whatever you guys did, you know, a couple of number one hits, whatever. 
Nah, no? only unless uh, I had a spew afterwards. But that's probably yeah, it's probably true to maybe having one too many beers. But I mean, apart from that, nah, bro, never never felt sick at all on stage. Yeah. You know what amazes me though, if you watch back on the videos, yeah. Gaga has a better power chuck than Bieber. Yeah. Yeah. But it was really authentic though. Like Bieber's was like, whoa, whoa. Oh, he really was stood front over of stage. it and just went, ha. Ah. Did he chunder on a fan? Front no, no. front of stage. His back was to the fans, and he just bent over, assed out to the crowd, and, and just. just Chunded, but Gaga was way up on top of the pillar and she just turned and just power chucked all the way. <laughs> and the dance is just standing there half naked. I think what happened Jimmy. was he went out on stage, his earplugs came out, he heard his own music and threw up. Oh, <laughs> yes! I think you could be right. You might be on the money there, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, topic number three, a eunuch, a study of eunuchs in Korea, a royal family, have found uh, men without testicles live longer. So these little eunuchs running around, Oosh. testicles gone, Ooh. and they Come lived on, a longer uh, time. On the table. Apparently, uh, what is it, 130 times longer than uh, normal people with testicles. 130 I don't know what that, times. I think they live up to about 90 or 100 years old. In terms of being a eunuch, can I ask a question? You cut your nuts off, can you still get a stiffy? <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Cut your nuts off, well it's a blood flow thing, isn't it? So I'm assuming, yeah. Because the you reproductive... Know? Do you know? No, well, I'm just... No, but I've watched National discussion. Geographic, haven't I? Because well, they, would, they would pick these guys, right, to look after the, the, the women, ladies, the yes. harems or whatever they're well, called. The other side of that is then, do you still reach climax? Do you, oh do you, you don't come. Are we seriously you're... having this conversation? But, <laughs> to, yeah, we are having balls, this conversation. Eh? I don't think it would be a bad <laughs> job to be a eunuch because if you cut your nuts off, you're looking after the meanest bitches in the kingdom. <laughs> Oh, the Sheila's. <laughs> the aunties. But you're looking, you're looking after them. If you can still get a stiffy, you're good to go. And look, you're not going to get anyone pregnant. Oh, what well, an extreme form of with contraception, um, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very yeah. much. And you oh. still get the full feeling. This, uh, All right, moving on to more small people. Uh, we're talking Hobbits. Hobbits are taking over Wellington to celebrate the premiere of the movie, of course, whatever the new movie is, Hobbits. Did you actually make it th through the first Lord of the Rings? One, two, three, oh, nine, twelve? three, five-hour film yeah. or something? Oh, no, I tapped out. I'm not even interested, eh? Yeah. I'm really not interested. Like, like this is yeah. New Zealand filmmaking uh, on the world stage at its best. What do you mean you're not interested? How can you... Oh, Wellington is changing the whole... It's forever to come, so... I'm just, oh, when it comes on DVD, I'll, I'll watch it. Tammy, you're an actor, director. Yeah. Yeah. Something? Oh, I lost <laughs> interest when the two, what are the, Frodo and Samwise started crying? Well, they, he just fucking started crying all the time. <laughs> Remember that? Like in that last one? Did they get the ring in the end? And oh. what happened? He threw it in the uh, the volcano, and then apparently all was happily yeah, ever you after. You seriously haven't watched it? No, I'm serious. I haven't watched it. I'm okay. not into that. I guess you're not going to be invited to the big uh, opening, you oh. know, the VIP thing we bought. We will Cat be. I'm, I'm, I'm gutted. <laughs> once Peter Jackson sees I'm the gutted. show, <laughs> yeah. once he sees the show, we'll most probably be kind of <laughs> anyway. I'm going to move VIP on. I'm sure it's list. awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, when I need wise counsel, I go to a mentor. A mentor in television to help me, you know, save money, cost cut, or come up with some great ideas. Possibly, if the research is working. Look behind the scenes now at Aotearoa Social Club. This is what happens when you're not here. Kirby. How Kirby. are you? Good, Good, Good to, to see, see you. you. Yeah. Nice to see you. Have a seat. Yeah, thank you no, very much. There, have the ball. Ah. Oh. That's right. Okay. How's things? Yeah, really good, really good. Um, oh, the social club, they're very excited with the numbers. Everything is looking on track. I'm happy. Fantastic. And so we've come to the conclusion after a group meeting that, you know, to take this thing to the next level and really eat it up, we need some more money. Now, I know Tamangai Pao, they're not good for it, but you guys, I see topping it up and they're really launching this rocket ship to the stars. What do you say? Exciting? No, nah, it's not going to happen, Kirby. There's no money. Mm. Perhaps you need to go back and look at how you're uh, playing this thing out mm -hmm. and um, okay. look at perhaps who you might be able to lose. Yep. Can the rocket ship operate um, without all the staff, uh, you know, the astronauts and stuff? Star Trek IV, Captain Kirk flew the ship himself. Yeah. 
You sure do. Thane, you've got to look at what you can do. Mm. Cut the fat. Trim the budget. If the hand's not wiping the ass, chop it off. And put it there. I think enough is said. I've taken a lot from this meeting. A real pleasure. All right. We'll meet nice again. Nice to meet Kirby. Absolutely. See you later. All the best, buddy boy.